So, you want to learn the stock market? Maybe you've seen it somewhere. Maybe your old friend just talked about it. But either way, you're here. Let's see. What is the stock market? Easy. It's where you buy stocks. Stocks are a share of a company that is public. Public meaning it's listed on the stock market. Did you get that? Let me repeat. Stocks are like a small piece of a pie, and the big pie is the company. Not all companies share their stocks, only companies that are publicly listed, like in PSE or the Philippine Stock Exchange. There's different more around the world. Anyway, there's two ways to be involved in it, invest it or trade it. There are those who invest in it, and that's okay. But for the small guys who can't wait 50 years and have a big capital, <clears throat> like how we all started in ZFT. We just trade it. Investing is basically buying a share of the company you like, then holding on to it. It's like marriage. You get to know the company intimately before you uh, commit to it. Trading, on the other hand, well, you can say it's more fast-paced. Once it's no longer working out, you gotta get out. To be honest, sometimes we could be trading a particular stock, and they're all just names. We don't know what that company does. All we know is we like the way the price is moving. You know what they say, don't fall in love with a stock. The problem with investing is after waiting for so long, you could have picked wrong, or that one single year can wipe out five years of growth in your portfolio. This doesn't bother the big boys. I mean, they can cash out somewhere else. But for us, we gotta be smarter than that. We need to learn how to dance in this market the way we are designed to do so. You could be trading like a fund manager if you don't have that much funds, no? We move different. So you gotta be tactical. Understand what you are. ZFT is a tribe of traders who uses the ZFT system. Boy, we got the best ones. We got champions and leaders. If you want results, this is where you go. That's why you belong here. But we got no time for people who love to pull each other apart. If you're into that, we ain't the right fit. If you're a complete newbie and you want to learn trading for free, like opening an account, reading price charts, and all the important and basic stuff, there's Trading for Rookies Facebook group. Head over there. But if you're familiar with the ways of the market, here's programs we got for you. We're sure you got questions, so slide over our DMs and let's figure out how you can get started to this wonderland of money and how you can join the tribe. Too busy to start investing? Start trading in as fast as 15 minutes with 2Trade Asia that offers online and paperless application. Verification is done by uploading photos of your valid IDs, your digital signature, 
a video in-person verification, and you're done. To Trade Asia, investing made it easy for the busy. Gusto mo ba mag-invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung papaano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. This is totally free for everyone. Start your investment journey with us. Click down below to register for free. Alright, uh, good afternoon everyone. Kamusta, kamusta, kamusta? So, it's Monday afternoon. Close na yung Philippine market, no? Um, it's time for us to do our charting sessions. So again, sa mga bagong viewers natin dyan, uh, welcome and good afternoon sa charting sessions with 2Trade and ZFT. So shout out muna tayo dito. Ah, dito pala si ano, si isa sa mga mentors ng CFT, si Cosmos. Good afternoon, Brad. So he's been working on some stuff as a trading view, no? So very exciting things that he will share to us uh, in the next few days or weeks. So si Rochelle dito, si No Hi. Good afternoon. No neck Christopher. Robert, ayan, dito, mga US peeps. Teng, sino pa ba? Chris, Samson. Ayan, good afternoon, everyone. So, let's get to it. Um, balikan natin yung mga na-discuss natin last week. And then, we'll try to see what's going on with the market right now. Um, and let's go ahead. So, I'll be sharing my screen now. Let's see. All right. Let's take a look at uh, what's happening with the Philippine market right now. So as you can see, uh, like uh, we've mentioned last week, no, uh, the market is not that good. Um, actually, a lot of stocks are going down. It's not a good time for you to invest right now. Um, as much as possible, you don't really need to catch the bottom, guys. So mind you, you don't need to catch the bottom. Um, all we need to do is just wait patiently for stocks to set up um, possible trends. And right now, there are only few stocks that I'm looking at na may potential lakas. No, and we'll we'll check it out later. Okay. So Philippine markets not really that good yet. Um, all the MEs are still above prices. Uh, it's still going down. Uh, nothing much with the index yet, but there are some tradable stocks already and we're going to discuss them one by one okay so i guess the first thing that we need to take a look at would be okay wait lang hindi ko nakikita masyado yung i guess i need to open my other screen wait lang guys Ayan. Open na ba? Pa't hindi ko ma-open. Ayun. Okay. So, ayan. So, let's take a look at the first uh, stock, I think, uh, na pinakamalakas ngayon. Um, it's Web. Phil Web Corporation. So, this is, a, I think, gaming. Kasi, no stock? Tama ba? If I'm not mistaken. So this has been cited uh, last week, if you can still remember the discussion natin. Balikan nyo yung live session. It's still in the Two Trades Facebook page. Um, that's going to be, uh, that was discussed last Monday. So every Monday sa mga bago dyan, ng mga viewers, again, we're gonna do live session for the whole year every Monday, 3 p.m. Okay? So we can check out the uh, stocks that the uh, potential malakas or pwede trade or whatnot. Some, we can comment on some stocks, Philippine stocks as well, uh, if maganda ba siya trade or not. So let's go with the first one. Actually, there are two stocks that I'm looking at, trending stocks that I'm looking at. Uh, first of all, uh, would be web. 
So if naalala nyo last time uh, sa, mga, sa discussion natin sa web, so this was the resistance range that we're looking at uh, sa web. Okay? And you remember it was this day, I think June 13, yung discussion natin, nagkaroon ng tight consolidation si web here. Right? Near resistance. So the resistance range niya is this one. And, and this one. So that is the resistance range na ginagawa ni Web. Afterwards, after ng run up, na um, touch, actually third touch, meron din dito. So may pahapyaw na paghalik sa resistance. Okay, and then it was tight. Uh, tightly consolidating here. So this is actually an example of a, it's not that clear, but this is actually a VCP or volatility contraction pattern. It's a setup that is um, popularized by uh, no other than uh, Mark Minervini. So what is VCP? Again, this is what we call volatility contraction pattern. Okay. Yan natin ang meaning. So what does uh, volatility contraction pattern mean? It simply means that in every range, consolidation range na ginagawa na isang stock, magkocontract yung, um, yung size ng, ng, ng consolidation niya. So let's say in this case, we have this one. So itong range niya is around 25%. That's the first uh, uh, tawag dito, consolidation range. And then it becomes 17%. Uh, and then lastly, um, yung consolidation naging 9% na lang. So this is a classic VCP. No, this is a classic VCP uh, by web. So the tight, kita niyo ba? Some people will tell you this is like a flag or something, but uh, this is a classic VCP, no? Nagkakaroon tayo ng tight consolidation on bullish levels. So if you can still remember, we were charting um, web last Monday, and then this was the day that was June 13. So the, um, the, the, the trade idea would be a breakout, a potential continuation pattern by within uh, any price below around 4 pesos and the cut would be if it does not hold 20 ME. So, mga around 380. Um, so, anong nangyari? Monday agad, nag-breakout siya, right? It registered like around, anong percent ba to? Uh, 13% in just one day. And, uh, yeah, good evening, Oliver. Wait lang, si Oliver Austria, ito ba yung, ano? Ito ba yung architect? Si YouTube? O iba ba to? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so we have a breakout here and then uh, nauntog siya sa 5 pesos area. Okay, so that is the current resistance ni Web. Okay, so sa mga nakabili dito or even the breakout and sold at 5, I think that is a, a good trade already. Very good trade already. Uh, 5 pesos is basically 5 to 5.15 is the range na nakikita natin as uh, next resistance niya. Now, others may uh, do a trail stop for this because of course, uh, this is already a trending stock. No, it, This is no longer a um, just a sideways stock. So, uh, let's try to analyze the structure before para maintindihan natin yung ginagawa ni Web. Okay, for especially for the newbies out there who does not know how to read uh, structures, trends, we'll do a basic of it here in our session. So as you can see, this it, this stock came from a sideways movement. Ito yung galing sideways niya. Okay, and then range next range na tinitingnan natin would be this one over here. Okay, so zoom in natin on this. So that's the first uh, range na nakita natin. Next would be this one over here, right? And supposed to be uh, what we want to see is this stock consolidates at uh, ito yung mga 
levels na tinitingnan natin. Okay? Now, as you can see, supposed to be um, sideways si web if it consolidate around 3 pesos area. Pero nangyari sa kanya, break niya na to. Yung resistance range, yung pinaka-high na range niya. And then, it consolidated and created a tight consolidation over here. Right? Okay. So, if web consolidated over here, sa baba, this one over here, okay, potential sideways pa siya. Right? Uh, but ang nangyari sa kanya, web broke out from this resistance and then na-touch agad, na-break agad yung resistance tapos binirik ang retest. And it consolidated above this level, uh, 340. So this is basically the first higher low sa range niya. Right? So ito yung low, ito yung high, and ito yung higher low at around 330 area. So that's the first higher low. And then right now, consolidate, na consolidate, break out, and then, right. Kung may pullback man tayo, na makikita, that would be the second higher low, which means that the stock is already trending. So I don't, um, I'm not surprised if other traders are using trail stop instead of selling it uh, at resistance range. But if I were to trade this, let's say, for example, um, I bought around here or maybe the break of, here, I would be selling already or maybe taking some profits at 5 to 5.10. Okay? So, reason why I'm not going to try and follow this, um, it's because I am a bit ano, conservative when it comes to this type of stocks because uh, medyo manipis yung board niya, guys. Um, and then, I was a bit concerned sa volume na nangyari sa June 17, which is a very sell high selling volume at this level the, the violet volume no medyo mataas siya mas mataas pa siya compared sa buying volume sa previous two green candles so that is that might be a, a concern for me maybe I'll be selling all or maybe selling half or some of the shares here um other people chose to especially in the tribe no uh, they other people just chose to just trail it at the uh, at Emma 10 this is the black line. You see the black moving average that we have. Up until it does not break that, they won't be selling. So, yun yung nagiging trigger nila for selling. Another tip though, if you're not, if if you're confused on how to trade this type of stocks, you can just use simply uh, the candle low. So, delete muna natin yung mga rinowing natin. So, you can use candle low for this. So, this one, and then move your stop here. And maybe you move your stop here. And next, this would be your stop next. So up until the lows of those candles will not be um, um, ma break, um, you can just keep holding the stock, right? So yan yung magiging trail stock mo. So congratulations sa mga nakapag-trade ng web. Um, pretty sure that um, medyo, medyo na puruhan ng majority of the people here, uh, those listening. Ilan ba tayo ngayon? Hindi ko masyado makita. Tech, ilabang viewers natin for today? So, medyo na buhay na ba? 137. So, shout out 137 uh, viewers no? um, for two trade and ZFTs charting session. So, again, web is very, very strong. Um, it's this, The trend is still strong. Um, siguro, worry lang tayo because the, the overall market conditions are very uh, volatile. So, yun lang yung medyo concerning sa atin. But again, we don't trade the index. We trade individual stocks. Um, so focus on how you will be taking uh, profits or if if ever wala pa kayong um, hawak, no? um, would you still be interested in uh, trading this if it uh, makes a pullback? So, so far, web is the number one, I think, leader, if I'm not mistaken, sa uh, PSE, Philippine uh, market. Siya lang yung malakas. Okay? So, yun. So web would be, I think, uh, a very good stock to watch. The next uh, resistance that web would would um, need to break is around 585 to 590 or 6 as a psychological resistance. So tignan natin if uh, abot pa siya doon. All right? Now, um, if it does not continue tomorrow, guys, there are two chances na mangyayari kay web. Take note of this. Okay. Just uh, scenario making lang tayo. 
So, ito yung resistance range na nakita natin. Right? So, we have a run-up over here. Wala pa siyang significant pullback si Web. Okay. Uh, mind you, okay, so, ginagamit natin yung Fibobibo natin, oh, Fibonacci tool, to see um, potential areas of consolidation. So, take a look at this very carefully. Kung, let's say, for example, mag-pull back tomorrow. Or let's say, for example, it's like, mas mataas pa. All right? Whatever candle that uh, web will do tomorrow, if you're looking for a pullback, you need to make sure that uh, saan mo ba siya gusto makita mag pullback? Is it sa 382? Or is there a possibility na mas malalim pa at, three, at around 618? Okay? So there would be chances na, especially on this type of market, uh, hahabol yung 20 MA. Tapos medyo, you know, um, yung pullback niya is medyo malalim-lalim. So make sure to protect your profits in case that happens um, or stick with your trail stops. If ever, whatever trail stop that you're, you're using, 20, 10, whatever candle stop or whatever kinds of trail stops that you are using. So scenario planning lang. What will you do if it retaces at 450 or maybe it retaces at 425 or tomorrow maybe it gaps up. Will you still buy? Um, if wala ka pa, will you still add? Uh, saan ka magbebenta next? Are you planning to sell at at 6? So there's no right and wrong here, guys. It's basically planned versus unplanned. So that's what makes a consistent profitable trader. It's not because uh, tumama yung bias mo or whatever. It's just uh, whatever you plan, you know, na medyo mataas yung probability that it happens, um, you just basically execute it. Yun lang. Okay, so that's for web. Next uh, stock that I'm actually looking at is um, Prim. Okay. Take a look at volume here. So sa mga gumagamit ng VPA dyan, volume price analysis, as you can see, so we have very huge volume here for Prim. Again, just like web, medyo bungi-bungi um, board nito. It was making a... Um, a consolidation at the highs. It's tight consolidation. May paglawit lang though at this level. So, may napagpag ba dito kay Prim? <laughs> right? So, may pagpag na naganap si Prim. So, after Prim, see, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Boss Dean was the one who commented sa Prim when we made our live session last uh, last Monday. Okay? So, as you can see, Nagkaroon ng breakout si Prim dito, tuloy-tuloy, uh, and then it consolidated here, and then boom! Di ba may heavy sell, sell volume? So like I've mentioned, um, sa mga gumagamit again ng volume price analysis, take a look at this candle over here. May malaking sell-off tayo, pero the volume that you see is very low compared to what? Uh, compared to the previous buying na naganap. Right? So ito, buying, buying, buying. Uh, ito, medyo may sell-off, onte And then, buying, buying, buying. And then, itong pagbagsak. So, very quick tip lang. Like I've mentioned, if there's a heavy sell-down, uh, meaning from this price point to here, that's around negative 15% in just one day. Uh, pero, there's a um, very low volume. So, there might be a chance na retail traders lang yung nagbebenta dyan. And uh, afterwards, binay up din siya. So right now, the breakout si Prim uh, at uh, 2.66. So, so again, it's trailing at uh, 10 MA or MA10. Um, so resistance that you should be looking at would be at around uh, 350 levels to 360. That would be the next resistance range na tinitignan natin. We have minor resistances, pero yung maraming touches would be at... 350, 360. Okay, is uh, Prim already tending? Definitely. Now we have a consolidation over here. Take a look at this very cl closely. So this is the um, consolidation na ginawa ni Prim. Okay, this is the low. This is the high. This is higher low. And then we now have a higher high. And the next low would dictate na trending si, uh, nagiging trending na si, what do you call this, si Prim. Right. So, um, next babanggain niya would be 350, which is uh, 
medyo matagal-tagal pa na resistance. But let's see if uh, mag-breakout si Prim. Um, Volume-wise, sobrang ganda. Uh, there's a momentum based from RSI. Volume-wise, all buying volume here. We don't see any uh, big sell-offs for Prim. So, ayan. Uh, tingnan natin ano magiging next move ni Prim. I think one good stock as well, I forgot to mention, is this one. So, Ara, Araneta. If I were to choose between Web, Prim, Ara, I'll go with Web. Okay. I'll go with Web, definitely, because of volume um, and the structure. Si Ara medyo... Um, alam ko, ano to eh, wait lang. Tingnan ko nga sa isang ginagamit namin na Ayan. So, mababa nga yung volume ni Ara, if I'm not mistaken. So, medyo be, be very careful. Uh, this is a stock na medyo volatile. Isang buhos lang, pwedeng babagsak to. Um, take a look at volume. Um, it's You have a buying volume for the past few days. So, Ara is, is still good. Uh, there are just some concerns that... Uh, I'm seeing with uh, ARA. Hindi siya ganun kalakas. Like, like is ARA size just at 63, if I'm not mistaken? Or 68, sorry. So, wala tayong nagkaroon. Hindi nagkaroon na ARA size 70 break, which means that the momentum is not that strong compared to what we have with web. Mo, there are touches sa ARA size 70 and we have uh, cream as well. Take a look at Prim. It's staying above RSI 70. So the momentum is very strong compared to ARA. Right. So yun lang yung concern ko kay ARA. Okay. Now, there would be some reversals that I'm also looking at. Um, CPS. So this is like, this is not a, ano guys, ah, trending stock. Uh, tatlo lang yung trending stock na um, tinitignan ko. Again, Web, ARA, and uh, Prim. Some rever reversal stocks that I'm also interested in looking at would be CTS Global Equity. Uh, ito ata yung call financial or basta, if I'm not mistaken, ito yung ano eh, parang trading something ng COL. Ano ba yung COL dati? Forgot. Um, but anyways, so looking at uh, looking at the stock, uh, we have, take a look at this guys, we have this consolidation, and then it's now making its first higher low over here. It means that, you know, it's trying to act up, um, it's trying to make a reversal coming from a series of divergence. So take a look at this one. Nagkaroon tayo ng divergence over here. Right? And then we have a series of lower low over here. So that's a divergence with uh, 20 and MA10 breakout over here. And it thus making its first higher low over here. And then a hold yung 20 MA. Right. So it's creating a, you know, a sideways movement over here. This is still a sideways, guys. Uh, down, side on, down. Right. Hindi pa siya totally nag reverse. Meaning the current trend is still downtrend. But what's good with this is because. Kaka IPO lang niya. So, nothing scary about this. Okay? Compared to stocks that are, you know, matagal na nag, nag IPO tapos ang dami mo na ang kalaban. So, medyo easier siya if you think about it um, to, to see. So, we're just looking at if 20MA holds, if it consolidates at 85, 88, 90, and hopefully it will break 93 soon. Okay? Um, yung medyo kulang lang dito kay CTS will be volume of course especially um, sa market ngayon na we're considered na, na it's not ano parang what do you call this uh, walang masyadong scared money basically right on a downtrend market uh, scared money so medyo you know uh, uh, mahirap hirap siya okay So take a look at this. And one is FCG. All right, this one. So the very interesting part of FCG Figaro Coffee Group is 
uh, the accumulation volume that I'm seeing over here. Take a look at this one over here, this one, and this one, right? So those are buying volumes um, sa FCG. So 50, 20, and M10 is now below prices. So this is actually a very good stock for me. Um, tradable, may volume naman so far. Ito yung consolidation na ginagawa ni um, FCG. Very tight consolidation. Um, it might, uh, it, it's trying to actually reverse. So let's see if, you know, uh, 52 levels will hold, if it will make a tight consolidation over here and might break out or what. Next, it's resistance that we are seeing is 66, 67, and then 78, 280. That would be next. So volume would play a big role, talaga, especially on this type of market, because, of course, we want to make sure that stocks that are, we are trading is backed by um, institutional volume. Okay, So like I mentioned, retail traders um, are just dependent on what institutions are doing. So we need to make sure that andun sila, all right? At hindi lang, alam mo yun, tayo tayo yung naglalokhan sa, sa, sa mga stocks na yan. Okay, so FCG, that's two of the, FCG and CTS are two uh, stocks that I'm looking at for reversal. So if, ang problem dito sa FGD, if 52 does not hold, I'll pass. Okay, I'll pass. Um, okay, so one last that pala I forgot to mention is Simarara CSCC. So CSCC, um, like I've mentioned, kailangan mabalik ni SCC um, tong level na to. Diba? Kailangan balikan ni SCC ng 35-75 levels. Now, very interesting for SCC because it's tight in, tightly consolidating at this level. Okay. So if magreen si SCC tomorrow, if 20 and EMA 10 holds, that would be a first uh, for swing traders. That's a good buy. Um, cut would be if 34 does not hold. Okay. In preparation of a break of 37. Right? So that would be basically my trading plan. Again, this is not a recommendation, guys. This is basically just analysis and things that I will do if I will be trading this type of stock. Okay? So 34 would be my cut loss um, in preparation of 37 break out. So that's around 6% over around 2% uh, cut. Okay? And maybe I, we can add some more at 37 um, wala masyadong nakakatakot regarding volume here. No significant sell-off. Um, if it consolidates medyo matagal, 50 MA might, might catch up. That's another setup that we can discuss maybe soon. But that would be the analysis for SEC. SEC is still very strong. Weekly chart, take a look at the weekly chart. It's still trending. Um, compared, uh, tingnan mo if a stock is um, accumulated or not. Now, the buying volume is much more bigger than the sell-off volume. Kita nyo ba, guys? The blue ones are the, the buying volume. Medyo makulay yung ano natin, no? Medyo makulay yung uh, volume um, chart natin. Anyway, so these are buying volumes. These are accumulations. Okay? Accumulations does not happen on sideways only, but as well as during breakouts. So, so far, dry volume on pullbacks is a very good indicator that um, it's not heavily um, na binibenta. Okay. All right. So, oh, before tayo mag-continue, no? um, advertisement ulit tayo. No? So, sa mga new traders out there who wants to open their account with 2Trade Asia, it will only cost you 10,000 pesos to open and use uh, all the tools that we have uh, here in 2Trade Asia. All you need to do is just click the link below. Okay. Um, there are a lot of things that you can actually do. Um, it's a platform, conditional orders, and um, we also have some uh, basic trainings for newbies. Um, para sa inyo, no? So there you go. So SCC, there's that. Um, yun. So for trending, balikan ko lang, no? for trending stocks, we have WebPrim, um, ARA, um, and then we have SEC. 
for um, reversals, we have um, uh, FCG and CTS. Um, yun lang yung uh, medyo nakikita kong magandang i-trade for reversals. True market leaders, not yet. Wala pa tayong VPA, like I've mentioned. We are always looking at this. Momentum, volatility, and price. Um, so far, wala. Si Web does not have that. Um, SEC does not have that. Um, so, ayun. But these stocks are basically tradable pa rin naman. Okay? Alright. Uh, I'm just curious, ano nangyari kay Espenic? Tignan ko nga, silip lang ako. Okay, Espenic, wala pa rin. Um, no accumulation volume so far. Meron ba? This one only. Wala. So, up until hindi si Espenic mag-breakout sa MAs niya, this is still going to be a no for me. Um, diba? Especially if it breaks at 140. Mag-break niya itong level 150. Um, short na talaga. <laughs> so, wala naman shorting sa Philippine market. But uh, again, this is not a good stuff anymore to trade. All right. So, if you have some stuff that you we you want to check, um, pwede natin tignan yan. So, meron na isa actually. Uh, si SEC, tapos na. Oliver Astella. Um, we have LR. Uh, Boss Rico, web is the first stop that we have discussed. No? So, pwede mo nang panoorin sa review. Medyo matagal-tagal yung discussion natin for um, web. So, LR. LRW na yung nawala, guys. No? LRW. Nawala na. LR na lang pala yung natira. LR. Okay. So, LR, may volume spikes tayong nangyayari for LR. Okay. LR is still in a strong downtrend. Okay. LR still is still in a strong downtrend. Um, but since yung casino medyo in leader si Web dyan, baka pitikin din to si LRW. So far, the, wala pang masyadong significant setup na tinitignan ko. There is a RSI 70 that happened over here. I want to look at the weekly chart. Okay, so marami pa siyang babanggain, no? Marami siya pang babanggain. But if this stock would be interesting if um, ma-break niya yung 148, that's around what? 6%, kaya pa naman. Ma-break niya yung uh, 146, pero trigger niya would be 140. Ayan. If magkaroon tayo ng ganitong type of consolidation, kanyan, it will test 150, tapos mag-consolidate here. Uh, LR will be interesting for me. Um, so, ayan. Ganyan yung structure na gusto kong makita for LR. Um, by the way, guys, I'm not a bottom picker. I'm not a position trader. So maybe, you know, some people here want to buy this type of structure. Uh, but for me, um, basing from the type of risks, medyo pass ako sa ganitong type of structure. Pero if it creates a good consolidation stock like this, it, it retests 150 and then mag-consolidate dito, that might be a good for me. A uh, good structure for me, followed by a good volume. Dapat magkaroon tayo talaga ng good volume um, before ko masabi na magiging interested ako dito. But overall, LR is still a downtrend stock. No momentum yet or whatsoever. So, yun lang. Uh, let's go with green. Okay. So, si green. Let's take a look at green. Okay. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng accumulation volume over here with green. Okay. We also have a first RSI 70 patch. So, check siya. Right? Tibo natin si green. It is consolidating at 618. So, very normal for this type of stock. Stock 2 do, you know, a 618 uh, retracement. Dulit natin. Medyo para hindi kayo masyad, masyadong maguluhan. Ayan. Ayan, 168. Dulit muna natin yung MAs natin dito. Kasi wala namang kwenta yung MAs during a sideways movement. Okay la. Alright. 
So this is the structure na tinitingnan natin for green. We have accumulation volume for green. So meaning may bumibili sa kanya. Um, the pullback happened over here at 618, which is very typical for a, um, a, a reversing uh, stock. Uh, for MAs naman, right? MAs is nag siya. And right now, it's trying to go above our two short-term MAs, which is, which is 20 and 10. So, ganyan yung magiging trigger ko for, um, for green. Okay? So, like I mentioned, I'm more into swing momentum. So, if it breaks 20 and I'm at 10, I'd be buying. Uh, my cut loss would be if it does not hold yung dalawang MAs na yun, or 160 does not hold. That would uh, make me feel na medyo mahina yung stock na yan. But if it recovers, green is a good stock for reversal. I'm not really that, ano, mas gusto ko talaga yung continuation pattern, guys. But for this type of movement, maganda siya because why? May test of resistance na tayo dito. Kita nyo ba? So the structure is basically like this. Okay, potential. Head and shoulder. Ayan yung magiging trade idea for um, green. So we have multiple touches sa resistance. A, a good consolidation above this might break 184, 185 kay green. Okay? So target levels would be around 2 to 15. Those are just, you know, resistances. Yung pinaka near na resistance. So if breakout, that will give you around 18%. If you'll be buying at 20, M10 breakout, 25%. If you're a position trader that who want, wants to buy at 618 levels, that may give you a bigger reward. But then again, the risk of you getting, um, you know, EPET dyan sa consolidation, medyo mataas. All right. So dependent yan sa inyo, guys, uh, kung trip nyo bang maipit sa mga ganyan. Okay, so may ano dito. Okay, Viret kay Manuel. Sige, it's very interesting. Hindi ko pa nakita to ever. <laughs> okay, so may ganito pala. So, reads ni sino ba to? Vista? So, um, okay. So, ang hirap naman to. Wala pa masyadong structure. I'll go with Arlie for this type of structure na medyo uh, very weak siya. Ilang percent na to? 8%. So, eto. I'll go with Arlie for this. Um, try to look at kung type niya tong type of consolidation na ginagawa ni Ritz. Uh, Structure-wise, uh, is this consolidating at 382 fibs? Ayan. So, it's trying to make a potential cup and handle pattern. Okay? And a potential breakout. So that would be a put, uh, that, yan yung setup na hinahanap ko if I will be trading direct. So hoping na you know it might give you it will give you a good consolidation. Um if this flow uh, low does not hold warning especially if this low does not hold uh, that's a no no already. DD Oh, okay. DD. So, tingnan nyo to guys, ha? Si DD. Say, for example, DD. Pag natin yung ibang MAs. Alright? So, people would be interested with this. Um, but, tingnan nyo muna yung structure niya. Okay, long term muna. Tingnan muna natin long term. Ayan. Di ba long term downtrend? And tingnan mo to. I-zoom natin ang tip. Alright, so may breakout siya, may run up, run up siya dito, di ba? Alright, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Okay, take a look at the weekly chart. Sobrang lakas pa ng downtrend movement niya. Okay, may bottom siya here. It made a higher low over here. But overall expectation for DD would be just a sell and resistances. So, if... Iti-trade ko to. Ang laki kasi ng sideways move niya. 
Pansin nyo ba guys? Yung sideways move niya, ito yung una, di ba? Ito yung naging resistance range niya. Ngayon, yung consolidation na ginagawa ngayon, ang laki nito. Tignan nyo itong consolidation na to. Ang laki, di ba? Ayan o. This one and this one. So, if you think about it, if you'll be trading DD, say, for example, ito. Ito yung trade idea mo. You want to buy the breakout of DD here. Ang dami mo pang resistances na tatamaan on the left side, 920 to 10 to 11. So, whatever pitik ni DD dito might just be a potential sell at resistance or sell in strength. Actually, hindi nga siya pasok sa watch list ko eh. Um, first of all, ayoko yung structure niya. Malaki masyadong yung sideways movement. What I want is a tight consolidation and then mas clear yung picture niya na wala masyadong overhead supply on the left side because again, overhead supply will cause stocks to uh, medyo mahirapan when it comes to making a trend, no? Ito, masyado malaki yung sideways movement niya. By the way, guys, I'm not into fan of fundamentals masyado. So, uh, baka may alam kayo, whatever. So, I am not including that on my analysis. I'm just um, giving insights and comments based from what I see on the structure sa mga stocks na gusto nyo tingnan. So, in this case, I'll say, I'll say, definitely, I'll, I'll pass on this. Um, just because of this structure that we are seeing at the left side. Medyo ayaw ko siya. Ang gusto ko mangyari is dapat medyo mag, maging cl mag, mas clear, no? mas magiging clear yung uh, movement niya or structure niya here. So say for example, ito. Ganito guys. Kita niyo to? Ito mas clear. Before this one, okay? So may, may sideways movement tayo dito, di ba? Ayan. So ang structure na next na titignan natin would be this one. So this one is clear. This one is very clear. Okay? Wala masyadong kumpul-kumpul na structure dyan. Meaning, pagbabalikan niya ng price, it would be easier compared to babalikan niya tong bigger sideways movement na to. Up natin yung MAs natin para mas maging clear. Right? So, tingnan mo. Back. ba? Ang dali niyang balikan, sunod-sunod, tapos saan siya medyo na untog na. ba? Pull back tops, nag-try, nag-consolidate. Where? At the level we're in, kumpul-kumpul na yung naging price action niya. At the same time, it will also do that here. Diba? May sideways movement tayo here. Saan siya magkakaroon na mahirapan? Of course, we have a consolidation over here. That's one. Another consolidation over here. That's one. So whatever, for me, if I'll be trading this, this is going to be a sell. This is going to be a sell. This one is a sell zone for me. Mata masyadong mataas yung range niya. And unfortunately, di mo alam kung saan dyan mauuntog. Right? So, probability-wise, ayoko siya. So, I hope that's, that's clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'll go with ABBA. Okay. So, yan, ABBA. Na-discuss natin to last time, di ba? Uh, i-on natin yung MAs natin. Ayan, 50 MA. Watching yung 50 MA. Ah. So like I've mentioned, if you will be trading this type of stocks, you want to make sure na lalabas na siya sa consolidation na to. Dapat, ma-recover niya yung 10 MA would be the trigger. If nag-break siya dyan, I'll buy. The cut loss would be if it does not hold or ang pinaka-trigger pinaka would be 121. If it does not hold 121, I'm out. But ABBA is still basically uh, good. Always remember, guys, in this type of market environment, 50 MA trails na stock is very normal. Okay? A remount of 10 MA and 20 MA would be a good indication for this type of stock. So ABBA, you might want, still want to, you know, add this on your watch lists. So yun lang for ABBA. Some stocks that oh okay so boss Dean wants to take a look at Mir. So 
like I've mentioned, di ba na, 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 na bigay natin to last time, NIR is uh, doing a, a VCP or volatility contraction pattern. Take a look at this very closely. We have a movement up. Ay, sorry. Sana ba yan? Okay, we have movement up over here, right? And then a consolidate at 50. Kung if 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 guys, 50 yan. Fifty. Ayun. So above fifty, just near fifty. Uh just near the eight two. Right? And then it is now doing a potential volatility contraction pattern at this level. So right, and a potential cup and handle too. So that's a typical ano lang taga, very typical uh structure. Yan. Sa mga hilig na mga blue chips, Mir is actually very good. I'm waiting for the breakout 384 or if you want to get it at the handle, pwedeng pwede. Diba? As long as this consolidation holds, no problem. Cut this below this level at 357, 56. If hindi mag-hold yung MAs natin, then wala. All right? So, here, may volatility then 18. Not, not bad. So, ayun. Wala. Pwede potential all-time high din pala to. Ah. Tama ba? Ayun. Ah, nakita natin. Buti na lang nag-weekly nag chart tayo. So, sa weekly chart natin, guys, puwa na siya or MAs are below prices. Take a look at this very closely. Mahal na naman yung kuryente. <laughs> Mahal na naman yung kuryente nyo, guys. Okay, this is a potential all-time high stock, guys. Okay? So, Mir, watch this very carefully. It might uh, do a breakout sa 400. Um, very nice accumulation over here. Um, wala pang RSI 70. So, yun lang yung hinihintay siguro. So, if you're a fan uh, trading this type of stocks, then, you know, Mir is a good stock to watch. Okay. Meron pa ba? Meron pa ba tayong mga potential? Ang onti lang natin pwedeng tignan, no? Onti lang tayo dito. So, ayun. Any other stocks that you wanna watch before we end? Guys? Meron pa ba? Kayong gustong tignan? Ano pa ba yung mga interesting stocks dati? Hmm... Ara is done already. Tapos na si Ara. Si Prime, tapos na din. Web Prime, Ara, SEC. Those are the stocks that medyo trending. Um, okay, so last Monday I said Converge. Never, ever, 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 ever buy the stock. Okay? It's clearly a downtrend. I'm not sure what the fundamental is. Maganda siya, blah, 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 whatever. But the price is telling you that it's going down. Don't buy a dying stock. There's only two types of stock. Stocks, guys. Good stocks and bad stocks. Bad stocks are going down. Good stocks are going up. Whatever the fundamental is, if it's going down, it's not worth the risks. Okay? So, there's that. So, just a few Ano na lang din? GMA7, um, this is not still a... Okay, so for GMA7, um, etong etong type of consolidation, pwede mo siyang i-trade. Diba? If it breaks at 12.20. But the upside, hindi na masyadong goods. 13%, 10%. Um, tingnan mo lahat ng MAs na sa taas pa. So, if you're a newbie, just, you know, Avoid this type of stocks, guys. Pag, ano, this is our hard trades, basically. Hard trade siya. Doon tayo sa mga mabilis, madali lang i-trade. So, this is our hard stocks to trade. Alright, so there's a good question here um, kay Boss Dino. So, not a, not a stock, pero with the current market condition, would you recommend market participants to try and bottom fish? Or look for the bottom. So here, here's the thing when it comes to bottom picking. Okay, here's the thing. Ilang beses mo... Oh, okay, number one. 
ano yung heat rate mo when it comes to bottom picking? Do you have any idea at all when you're trading bottom picks, bounces, may alam ka bang heat rate? Meaning data, back data, na mataas yung win rate or hit rate moment comes bottom picking. That's now number one question. So if you do, can't answer that question, you don't even have to, you know, um, we don't need to to go to the second question. Kasi dun pa lang, wala kang al- kaalam-alam if mataas ba yung hit rate mo dun sa bottom pick, picking. So if you want to do it though, then just, you know, backtest and, you know, look for setups na um, kaya mo mag bottom pick or ano ba yung hit rate, potential hit rate sa setups mo when it comes to bottom picking. Thus, answering question number one. Now, pag na-answer mo yung question number one, of course, dun ka na sa execution. Execution part. Okay, so naka-backtest ka. Okay, mataas yung hit rate mo, around 40% when it comes to bottom picking. Um, some questions that you also need to ask if worth the risk ba tong ginagawa mo and worth, worth the stress. And do you really need to bottom pick in order to make money? Kasi, always remember guys, um, mahirap, it's a, um, pinakmahirap talaga yung bottom pick. Because number one, um, back by fear, right, ng mga tao. Um, also, uh, the volatility when it comes to bottom picking, masyadong mataas. So if you're an intelligent investor, Okay. Intelligent investor. You don't need to call yourself a trader. Right investor ka lang. All you need to do is just wait for stocks na mag-set up. Meaning, mag-bottom, after bottoming out, mag-bounce, tapos mag-consolidate, and tra- try to form a potential uptrend. That's where the time papasok ka. Okay? Uh, Mark Minervini has been trading for almost 30 years, 35 years, I think. Um, never once, no, sa mga later years niya, sa experience, never once, sabi niya, um, I've, I've been, you know, trading for 35 years and wala sa setup ko yung pagbabottom pick. Um, if I can still remember, no, for, for the past few, um, two years, I think, do you remember Dito? Do you remember ASEN and Converge? Those are the big names that we, I was able to trade personally sa PSE market. And never ko siyang binotom pick. I was able to gain around 200, 160% kay ASEN without bottom picking it. I was able to get dito around, siguro, ilang beses ko siya na trade, pero I think I was able to get around, accumulated around 120% kay dito without bottom picking it. Converge, I was able to get around 90% uh, gain with converge without bottom picking it. So, myth yung kikita ka sa market if you can time the bottoms. Parang, I know people who loves bottom picking, um, living a dangerous life, but pataas yung hit rate nila doon. But, you know, for the mortal na, mga normal na nila lang, <laughs> like us, um, just participate when the market is ano, um, much forgiving. No? Meaning, uh, mas maraming uh, hindi fear yung um, what do you call this? Hindi fear yung nagde-dictate ng market but, you know, um, doon na tayo sa medyo optimistic part of the market. So right now, if you're not seeing much uh, movement sa PSE, then don't buy. Just stay on side, sideways, you know. Um, dun tayo sa mga high probability setup na bibigay. Again, the best, here's the thing guys, the best stocks or the best setups uh, to trade are those um, that you don't really find. Sila lang yung basically mag appear sa mukha mo na, okay, here I am, trade me. Uh, hindi mo na kaya kailangan na i- i- grabe yung analysis mo. Ito ba? Okay ba siya? You know, ano bang early chart nito? Ano bang weekly chart nito? Blah, 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 blah. The best stocks are basically, this one, it will scream to you sa monitor mo, buy me. Ganun, ganun usually yung um, stocks that are worth to, to trade. 
So no, so no. Again, to answer your question, no need to bottom pick and uh, marami nang namatay dyan sa pagbabottom pick na yan. <laughs> so, yung bottom mo, may bottom pa pala. Tapos yung bottom na bottom, may bottom pa pala. Nako po. Okay. So, um, be aware of, of those types of ano. So, so, so let's say something like this. Um, ASIN, tingnan mo yung MAs. It's just downtrend. So, if you're if you're using a you're a trend line user, tingnan mo. Yan. Still downtrend. Right? So, parang, what's the point of uh, trading a downtrend stock if the trend is not, they say the trend is your friend. So, go for versus versus web. Okay? See the difference? Okay, i-compare natin, guys. ASIN versus web. So, is pass natin si ano. Si ASIN. No. Thinking. Okay, nawala siya, guys. Paano ba siya? Ayun. Ito pala. So, take a look at how do we do this regular? Ayun. Okay, this one. Dito siya. Asen. Gusto kong ano eh. Wait lang. Um, okay. Tama ba? Ayun. Okay. So, take a look at this closely. Pwede ko pang mahatak to. Ano kung di ko mahatak ah? Paano ba to? Wait lang guys. Tama naman. Visual order. Okay. Huh? Ulit lang, guys. I-set up ko muna ito. Ayan. Si Aba. Tapos, balik natin si Asen. Asen. Tapos, hatak natin sa... Yun! Okay. Tapos, regular. Ayan. So, take it, uh, take this very... Uh, look at this very carefully. So, Asen is the, the orange line. We'll add PSE. So, hatak natin si PSE pataas. Okay. And then, lo, nawala si PSE, guys. Ulit. Uh, scale, no scale. Ayan. And then, PSE, PSE. Move to Ayan, okay na ata. So, take a look at this very carefully. PSC is the blue one. ASEN is the orange one. Okay. Versus web. The one that you're seeing sa candlestick. Tignan mo. Yung pabagsak si... Pabagsak yung Philippine market. Uh, ASEN is also going down. Nung nag-bounce yung market, nag-bounce din si ASEN. Nung bumagsak naman si market, Bumabagsak naman si ASEN. Now, compare it to the movement ni Web. Nung pabagsak yung dalawa, Web is going up. Nung nag-bounce siya, Web was just consolidating. Okay? Nung bumagsak yung market, bumagsak din si ASEN. Si Web, anong nangyari? Nag-breakout. So, these are the type of stocks that we are looking at. And, tingnan mo yung MAs nila. Ayan. MAs niya are below prices compared to ASEN na nasa baba pa. So, if very simple, no? If papiliin yung dalawa, web versus ASEN, which one am I, gonna, am I gonna buy? I'll go with the one that's trending. I'll go with web because it's going up. Okay, the, the stock that is uptrend will continue to move it on its current trend. So, yun. Okay? So, for me, ASEN still a no. Even though, you know, whatever they tell you na maganda si ASEN, blah, 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 fundamentals and all that. 
So if it's going down, I would not even dare to touch this stock. Right. So it's already four oh four. I think we've covered much sa um sa mga stocks, no? Um. So always remember, um, based from what you have discussed, trending stocks that we're looking at very closely is the Web, Prim, um, SEC. Right. Um, ARA is okay, but not a priority. And some reversal stocks. Also, MER, M E R, is a good trending stock. Um, for reversals, we have FCG and CTS. Um, in other stocks, I'm not really interested anymore because, of course, down trending stocks. VRET is good uh, if mag all time siya. So I think that's it. It's already 4.04. Um, I hope uh, you've learned something sa one hour in a session natin. No? Um, like I've mentioned before, we will be... Um, ayan, na-post natin dyan sa ano. Again, these are not recommendations. This is just basically um, stocks that I'm interested to trade. And just some analysis that um, na-share ko. Um, you still need to do your own work. Um, do proper risk management, no all-ins. Again, this is not a recommendation, guys. These are just analysis based from what I see as, you know, a full-time stock market trader for, ano na ba? Mag, ilang years na ba? Magsiseven na din ako ta ata. So, I hope you learned something. And like I mentioned, I'll try my best to put not just analysis, but, you know, something that you can learn maybe technicals or techniques or whatever na pwede natin incorporate dito sa session natin. Para hindi naman lang puro analysis, no? Um, para we can still learn something from, from this. So, I think yun lang. Thank you very much, guys, for um, your time. And I will be seeing you next week, Monday, same time, at 3 p.m. after the market closes. So stay delicious, guys. You're delicious out. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of your trading week. Bye. Too busy to start investing? Start trading in as fast as 15 minutes with 2Trade Asia that offers online and paperless application. Verification is done by uploading photos of your valid IDs, your digital signature, a video in person verification, and you're done. 2Trade Asia. Investing made it easy for the busy. Gusto mo ba mag invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung paano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. This is totally free for everyone. Start your investment journey with us. Click down below to register for free.